this guy, he's on a court case, and he has to attend a court case well, this, in about this, 10 minutes. This guy's a fucking... You can, you can deal with him, you can deal with him later on. After yeah. the court case, but right now you can. Okay, oh, he's a pagan. Oh shit. Uh, Alright. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jed, why are you covered in blood? I mean, you, you don't have to put him in. in... <laughs> oh my god. You're trying to arrest me already. Yeah, you, know, you can't, like, even though if he's. Right now he's just showing up to, to pay, like, so for instance. Mate, he just spat on my head, man. Literally just spat at me. Like, he came up to me and went, Because. Oh, yeah, so I'm gonna because arrest he's him. in a courthouse. Like, yeah? fucking tase him. You can't, you can't do anything for him now, oh, shit, but after the case, that? you can. I, yeah, yeah, I'm over here. Go, go ahead, take a seat, bro. What the fuck, I'm Spider Man, bro. Oh, right, yeah. What, over here? Oh, I, oh my god. Just sit yeah, down and I'll remove both of you from the courthouse. No, I don't have any problems. What yeah, this. Yeah, the, law? Yo, the laptop's the not court. turned on, man. How do I I'm turn not. this fucking thing on? Sit down, sir. Let me try the on switch. On. Yeah, yeah. Fucking pagan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what the, fuck what the fuck's on this laptop, bro? Wait, let me open that again. Yo, yo, that's. Why are you watching porn? I'm not watching porn, man. That's what was on it. Did Working you do my this? Lawyer, you got a spider on your Did phone. you do this? Yeah, you got jizz on your shoe, bro. Jump. Yo. There you go. Sorry. It must have come from this porn. Oh, are you gonna start the court case? Oh. Let me uh, help you. Okay, I see what you're doing. Yeah. And everyone should be silent. Don't. Uh, mute your ears, just mute your mouth. Alright, so we're gonna be deciding tonight, today if this case is dropped or if this case will continue on and a decision will be given. Oh, that's so impressive. Whoa. Alright. So please do explain what has happened in 26 August, Wednesday, 5 pm from 8 pm to 8 pm, sorry. So, uh, me and my uh, fellow uh, mechanic employee, uh, Henry, headed up to the hospital. Um, we were just going on a casual day out, you know, cruising around. Uh, when we got to the hospital, we saw uh, Sergeant Captain and whatever he is, but uh, shouldn't even be a shouldn't even be cadet. But um, to my to my actual rank, please. Um, I think he's we, we saw the officer uh, at the hospital. Can you ask him to be quiet while I yeah, speak, yeah. please? Please be silent. Thanks. So, uh, we saw him at the hospital. Uh, my colleague and me went in. <coughs> they just got a new uh, marina put inside a fish tank. Some really cool stuff in there. We were just checking it out. Um, mm. Officer Buzz was uh, clearly distraught, uh, acting very crazily, like he'd maybe been taking some drugs. Um, my colleague was uh, looking at the front uh, bumper of his vehicle. He had a uh, Chevrolet truck, maybe. Uh, kind of nice, very large. And mechanics, we got a very high interest in cars. Uh, my colleague looking at the front bumper, the police officer, uh, Buds, then gets in his vehicle. Uh, proceeds to run my colleague over with this very large vehicle. Did you mm. see that action he just made? Oh my lord. Alright. Um, <laughs> he, he then runs my uh, colleague over. Um, I then jump out on my vehicle, obviously concerned for the life of my colleague. Uh, my colleague's in a very bad way. Uh, I get try to get to him the fastest way possible, so I like, go over the top of the police officer's vehicle, because as it was like a hard to get around. Uh, I then see my colleague's in a very bad way. Uh, the police officer had his passenger side door open. He then reverses into me and wipes me out, taking the door off, flinging me into a bench causing me to immediately feel back pain. Um, I was in a lot of pain. Um, I then like tried to stand up and I struggled, so I was like crouching. Uh, the officer then goes to like ref keep driving, not noticing it hit me. So I hit on the side of his vehicle to alert him that he was about to run me over a second time and let him know that I was between the wall and his vehicle that he was about to hit him. Uh, the officer then gets out the car uh, screaming while foaming at the mouth. Uh, screaming words, I couldn't even make out what he was saying, he was that, like, crazy. Oh no, okay. 
There's so many people in here. Are we allowed to be so many people? What? Okay. I don't know. It sounded... I don't know. It could have been bullshitterish, if that's a language. Um... Uh, so... He then starts to like reach for stuff on his belt, and at this point, I'm thinking, is this even a real officer? Um, he hasn't told me who he is. He's just going crazy. He starts reaching for stuff on his belt. I'm thinking, you know, I'm about to die here. So I run over to my personal vehicle and I get inside uh, a white Audi, and I'm sat inside. And then he then comes up to my window and starts shooting the taser at my window. Uh, as he's only got a taser in his hand, I feel safe at this moment in time, as he can't, you know, tase me through my window. Uh, I don't drive off in the vehicle, I remain inside. Um, he then pulls out a real gun and tells me that if I don't get out, I'm about to get shot. Obviously, I comply, I get on my vehicle, put my hands up. So um, if you, if I'm if I'm true, correct me if I'm not. So you, you, you basically got into an argument with Sergeant Butts and you pulled out a gun, right? Who pulled out a gun? You. No. Or a weapon, no? He, he pulled out a gun when I got in my vehicle. Alright, so you were so trying to flee? Or... He, he, ran, he ran me over and then pulled okay. out and then tried to tase me. So I got inside my vehicle. Mm -hmm. uh, right. he, then, he then pulled out a gun and I wasn't trying to flee, I was just trying to figure out if this officer was crazy. Um, at the time that he pulled out a gun, I was obviously, you know, like when it was a taser, I was okay. When he pulled out the gun, even if it was an officer or not, I didn't want to die. So I decided to get out the vehicle and comply Sorry, and put my hands up. I'm getting covered in bullshit, I just need to put this on. Um, I then, uh, you know, let him detain me. Uh, I asked for his supervisor, which the commissioner uh, showed up. Uh, mm -hmm. The commissioner then puts me back in his vehicle. Alright. Uh, once spoken to the commissioner, and he understands that the officer actually ran us over, and I had a bit of a cough, it could have been... Uh, a damaged lung uh, from the weight of the vehicle hitting me, um, right. struggling to breathe. So I was then taken inside the hospital and treated by the doctor, okay. uh, Dr. Andrews. Um, mm -hmm. He treated me in the room, gave me lots of painkillers, helped fix me up, you know, as a doctor right. do a very good job, no complaints. Okay. Uh, the commissioner then came in, obviously realizing that his officer had done wrong. Uh, he let me free to go. I was free to go with no charges, uncuffed, and let straight out of the building. He obviously didn't want it to go further, as I would have actually liked to have uh, hit to gone further, because I believe that they're in the wrong, and you know, an officer just running somebody over and acting like a crazy guy, uh, not very professional. Um, didn't even ask me if I was okay. Didn't ask for my side of the story. I was just instantly let free to go, and they, they both left the area. All right. um, after this, uh, the doctor advised me that there's a chance that I could have coronavirus and I need to keep my mask on. Okay. So I did keep my mask on. Uh, I was coughing and sneezing, but okay. we thought that it could have been an allergy to the commissioner's dog. Okay. Um, but I was told to like, you know, r r follow uh, COVID guidelines of remaining two meters away. All right. So they left you and after that? Uh, when I went outside, uh, okay. Officer Buds returned back up to me. And this um, is around 8 p.m. Am I right? No, this is this is around the same time frame, sort of. Okay. Uh, we sort of went to leave the hospital. The commissioner had left, mm -hmm. and I think Buds was on his way to leave. This was outside. All right. Yes. Um, Officer Buds came up into my face, and he was he was shouting stuff. Okay. Uh, again, I had my mask on. Couldn't really understand him too much. Still foaming at the mouth, acting crazy. Okay. Um, screaming. I, I don't know what he was saying. Uh, I, and I just repeated the same line six times. I told him that I've got corona or a possibility and he needs to move away from me. Uh, okay. Sergeant, this officer then continued to carry on getting in my face. Uh, very, very, very close. And I did push the officer back. Not going to lie, I, I did push him. Uh, okay. But that was it. I didn't, you know, do, there was no uh, physical threat. It was just trying to get the officer out of my face. I, di I didn't want him. He didn't have a mask on himself. He, uh, he's just come out of a hospital, which has, you know, a high chance of correcting. Uh, catching Corona too. Okay. Um, I he then starts to, like scream stuff. He then starts reaching for stuff. Uh, I just told him, you know, there's a chance of Corona. He starts screaming, telling me that I'm getting arrested. Right. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I did get in my vehicle, and that's when I think he started to pull for a gun. So I did drive away. Uh, th my intention wasn't to flee the police. 
My intention was to get away from this crazy man who's just literally already showed that he is crazy. Um, I then drove back to Benny's and I waited inside where the officer showed up. Uh, when he showed up, he was screaming crazy stuff again. Uh, pulled the firearm out. Uh, I ran outside and got in a tow truck. Um, I like started the engine, but I didn't move. He then come out on foot. And I stopped for him. And I, all I told him is that I want a supervisor here before like I'll get out. Because he asked me to get out, sorry. Mm. Um, I, I told him I'll get out, but I want a supervisor. He then proceeds to, uh, with a firearm in his hand, shoots the front of my truck. Uh, nearly missing the front of my head could have killed me. I wasn't mm. armed. I wasn't dangerous. I didn't want to threaten him. Did he, and, did he tell you to get out of the car? He did tell me to get out of the car and I asked him for a supervisor. And then he shot the truck. This was a very quick shot. Um, could have been how a many, do, you, do you remember? Do you remember how many times that he has want you to get out of the car? Uh, I believe it'd be approximately two, possibly three. And okay. each time, I just asked for a supervisor <laughs> here first, and I'll happily get out of the car. Uh, I was scared for my life around this man. Yeah, I can. Um, All right, go on. <laughs> he uh, he then. Um, Got a supervisor though. I then happily got out of the vehicle, as I didn't, you know, it supervised the. Hopefully, you know, the supervisor's got a little bit more sanity. Uh, he then let this officer take me to the uh, police station. Yes. Uh, read my rights. Told me I was being detained and I was under arrest. Okay. Uh, when we got to the cells, um, he then told me like he had. I heard some radio motor coming through. I can't actually tell you what was said. Okay. Uh, I was told that I was. Uh, that um, it's my lucky day. Something's came up and I am completely free to go. He then drove me back to Benny's and dropped me off and let me free to go. Uh, he had some damage on his vehicle because he's a shit driver and can't drive in a straight line. Sorry for the cursing. Um, Please watch your language. Yeah, sorry. It just came out. I'm quite um, go on. Literally driving 30 miles per hour back to Benny's to drop me off. He crashed about seven times. Could have been drunk or on drugs like I said in the previous. So he asked me to repair his vehicle, um, and I refused. Uh, as he was a crazy officer, I didn't want any part of a deal. I just wanted him away from the store. Mm -hmm. um, he then proceeds to tell two nearby bystanders uh, that if they were to set my shop on fire, he would not respond uh, to the call and laughed about it. I then told him that he's going to be blacklisted from the shop and he needs to leave. Uh, and this, which... uh, this shop is owned by you, is it, Robert? Uh, yeah, Robert. that's correct. Okay. Uh, he so then... it's your own property? Yeah, it's my own property. Okay. Uh, obstruction, he then... ju judge, obstruction. Are we getting out of the, the case right now? You, you're not, you're not, you're not any lawyer. <laughs> you're just someone yeah, that's listen. watching this court case. You have no right to talk right now. Please be silent. Why? Boy. To, to be fair, Judge, this this sure, does explain yeah. the uh, where I got the tickets from. That's why I'm continuing with this. Yeah, please go on, Mr. Robert. Uh, to be fair to the officer, he immediately left after I asked him to. But okay. he then returned five minutes. Uh, I don't know if you've ever been down to Benny's, but at the entrance, we usually put road cones down so people don't cut across the pavement and endanger uh, civilians. Okay. Uh, he then started to say that the road cones were illegally placed and tried to run him over with his vehicle several times. Um, I ignored him and I told him that if he wants like <coughs> to get a court order or bring somebody else down who can remove them because they're illegal, that's fine. Uh, I didn't actually place the cones myself, so I, if you know what I mean, I couldn't actually remove them. Um, so I, I just I had I had um, I had people at the shop, customers, so I just went back and dealt with them and ignored the officer. Okay. Um, so right now he was mad that you know he'd let me free to go i'd refuse to serve him uh, for 30 to 40 minutes later he turns up at the shop i ask him to leave again then he starts telling me that he's going to hand me paperwork didn't tell me what it was at first and then he tells me it's citations and that for the arrest earlier that he let me go and told me i'm free to go um he, he then tells me that he's going to give me all the paperwork for it now and I told him, like, you know, you've already let me free to go. This is obviously like a personal vendetta now. You know, you've ran me over, you're a crazy officer. Both times right. I've been let free to go, right. and Don't now you're trying to get me. Alright. 
Just just uh, explain it. Just go on. Uh, explain what what has happened. Don't tell your personal opinions, please. Um, what do you mean? Uh, like, you uh, don't don't call him crazy or stuff like that. This is what I'm meaning. But... but from my side of it, he he looks like a very crazy officer, Judge. Uh, obstruction, yeah, obstruction bro. This is fucking mad. <laughs> okay. This is now. Nah, okay. Is out of order. Watch your language, Sergeant. This is crazy. Watch your this is language. crazy. So, hey, yeah. I was who is this told... gentleman? Who is this gentleman? This, 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 this is another witness who is in my, de who is in my defense. Who, who okay. witnessed all thing? Okay. Uh, all right, please, <laughs> please silence now and please go on. Mr. I then Charles. asked for a supervisor, um, yeah. uh, for the tickets, and the commissioner again showed up. Uh, he yes. was being very reasonable and said that I would have to accept him, otherwise he would be able to arrest me. Um, I can make a court case whether I want to pay him or not, and that's why we're here today. But okay. the uh, the commissioner then told me to please go to the PD, who can um, and he will give me a report form to fill out against the officer mm. uh, for maybe internal affairs or something like that. Yes. I yeah. then went I went straight to the PD. I waited thirty minutes. I tried tweeting to him. I texted the police, and uh, he didn't actually come to the PD, okay. uh, which I thought was you know wasting thirty minutes of my time. Uh, he obviously didn't want. Uh, didn't want anything, you know, writing up because he knew his officer was in the wrong. Uh, I actually had to have treatment from the doctor for my back pain because I was in severe pain. All right. Um, uh, we'll, go, we'll go on for that uh, in mm -hmm. future on. I think uh, Mr. Kai Andrew is on the courthouse, so we'll also bring him here and ask about your medical expenses. Okay. So if this is, uh, I, I kind of got a general idea on what just has happened. Yeah, just one. one more thing. Since mm -hmm. the scene has happened, uh, and he hit me with the car door, and I've been in so much pain with my back, mm -hmm. I've actually had uh, car door phobia, where I've actually got a fear of car doors. <laughs> so I've been struggling in work and having to take medicine. Yeah. Yeah, um, okay. this is, in my this dreams, will be, these these will be talking. He's calling me him. crazy. You Listen, to, he needs you, a psychiatrist. Uh, silence, please. This will this will these will be talked with and uh, have you so you say you got cardophobia 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 that's it yeah have you have you got a, a reasonable uh, doctor or a therapist that can support you with there's, that there's currently no therapist in the city but I've been having nightmares every single night about car doors okay. and I, I work as a mechanic and I've been struggling to go to work you know I've had yeah. to stay away from the doors alright I understand. Uh, if this is all, uh, yeah, yeah, that's this is all. All. all right, please, uh, you can leave the platform right now and get back to your seat. What the? All right. Um, now I'll be, I'll be calling for. Uh, judge will be calling for Sergeant Stevie Buds onto the platform. If you can please come here. Excuse me, he just whispered dirty pig in my ear. All right. Hey. Yeah. I don't, I don't I got appreciate that Let's kind of talk. Respect, all right? Otherwise, I'm going to have to remove him to courthouse, all right? All right, so. All right, you can, you can settle down. Yeah. And by the way, Commissioner Atisi, you know, you cannot remove anyone from this courthouse without my decision. So please be silent where you are. All right, so Sergeant Buds now, so, uh, can you, can you, are you available to sit or you, you would decide to? Yeah, I'm just, uh, you just can open your microphone right now. I'll be opening your microphone right now so everyone can hear you freely in the courthouse. Disconnected via the Discord. What was that? All right, I think, okay, this yeah, is your way to sit down, but it is your choice. All right, so basically. I just want to start off by saying, uh, my name is Sergeant Stevie Buds, and this yes. man, this man over here, is a certified pagan. Uh, yesterday, what happened was, is that we were, uh, we we actually went out to a call. Um, it was at the hospital of theft of a vehicle, and I was going to make sure that everything was all good. Um, okay. Doing my usual business, you know, being being a ten out of ten police officer, as 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 I am, as many people in the city can vouch for, and um, I arrived on scene. <coughs> okay. and it's quite, it's quite, Excuse me, this is this is unacceptable. Me, not please be silent. Please do be yeah. silent, Mr. Carlos. Thank you very much. And um, uh, so I've arrived on scene, and um, 
I've pulled in and this gentleman's come running up to my vehicle as I'm reversing. Um, he, he's diving like in front of the vehicle as if he's trying to get some sort of insurance claim. He does, you know, I, I, I will admit um, there was connection because he dived towards my vehicle as I was reversing. And then as I was backing up, just parking up, waiting to get out, he then goes out and then punches my window, smashing the window. I actually got glass in my ear. It's caused caused quite a lot of damage because uh, I like listening to classical music at night and now I can't experience that without going through some mild pain. Not not moderate pain, but I'd say it's mild pain, um, mm. which is, you know, it's, it's a discomfort to say the least. Um, I took me about an extra 2.34 seconds last night to get to sleep, so... Um, you know, it, it, yeah, mild disturbance, like I said. But um, <clears throat> so I've got out of the vehicle, and this gentleman, he's, he's run up to my other officer's vehicle. He's punched his vehicle as well. Sorry, he's run up to my to my commissioner's vehicle. He's punched his vehicle as well. Obviously, you know, can't control his temper. He smashed the window. I've then got out, tried having a word with him, speaking to me. Yo, come here, come here, come here. And then um, my 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 chief, I believe, is dealing with another uh, situation that's happening. Uh, Mister, I'll, I'll I'll be calling you here. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Uh, Carlos's lawyer, I'll be letting you do that in uh, about after Sergeant Bot's expl uh, explanation. So, okay, yeah, thank you. I feel, like, I feel like because they know that they're in the wrong, they're they're, they're doing things to try and interrupt me. You know, interrupt me midway. Okay, yeah. um, uh, you, you can know, like continue on speaking with your. So then, uh, this gentleman. Oh yeah, sorry. So then, this gentleman has uh has has run away. Um, already committed three offences at this time, two, two, two counts of damage to public property and one count of fleeing. Um, he's got into his vehicle, he's then driven off recklessly. Um, I've then gone to pursue him and uh, and I believe that he he got away in that instance. Um, and the second time we bumped into him, he was at the hospital again. Um, I got out, got out of my car as he was there. Uh, I put my lights on and put my, I flashed my siren a couple of times. Got out of the car as he was there, and I went up to him to say, well, not to say, you know, to arrest him again, and straight away he's pushed me. So it's assault on Elio. As he's pushed me, he's run over, he's got back into his car, um, and his, his, uh, his, his friend was there as well, also the uh, the, the other mechanic. Um, and what's happened is, is I've eventually caught up with him. Um, he's been arrested, he's been read his Miranda rights. I've told him, does he understand? He said he fully understands, and he understands that he's been arrested. Um, and that he, at that point he was being charged to then be taken back to the police station. All right, so he has been charged and he has accepted the fact that he has been arrested and charged. Okay. Requesting a lawyer the whole time. Yeah. Well, what? There wasn't a lawyer available. I did say that to you. But not the lawyers, if available. <coughs> anyway. All right. Please be silent. Go on, Mr. Bots. So um, so he's understood that, and then there's been uh, there's been shots fired at my commissioner's location as we're pulling into the back of PD. I said, all right, I'm busy at this moment in time, I've got to go. And I said, do you, uh, do you need me to drop you off on the way? Um, and then I've let him out of the rear gates. And then I thought, all right, I'll be nice. So I've gone back to the, uh, I've gone back to where he where, you know where he works at Bernie's, and I thought, you know, I'm not going to arrest him again and put him in jail. I'll just give him the fines, um, and he won't have to serve any jail time. Because obviously the offences that he's committed are very serious and he could serve quite a long time in jail. Um, I am actually looking to further press those charges against him um, and I would like him to serve jail time um, rather than pay the fines because I feel that his behaviour is reckless and he obviously he, he is not remorseful in any way, shape or form. He's admitted to this behaviour, he's admitted to you that he smashed the windows, he's admitted to you that he's pushed me and everything else is just a mere a mere sort of blur of of the truth because he's trying to trying to sort of back up his story with a with a with a load of paganism but um okay. but you know so at the end of the day he, he sat here he's admitted everything um i was nice and i was only going to give him the fines as that as that has been told he, he accepted the fines but you know because he's he, he has he's still not actually uh actually actually accepted the fact of uh of, of any any justice being served to him um, i believe that he should serve prison time rather than the fines or okay. or, or both all right uh, is there anything extra that you have to say about what has happened on the 26th August? Um, did I mention that Mr. Robert Carlos is a certified pagan? Please watch your language and... Yeah, uh, so okay, wait, so. Language, aren't there? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. okay. Sorry, no, then, there, then there'll be nothing else. Okay. Uh, now, uh, if possible, now Sergeant Potts, uh, please continue. Ah! Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm alright. Please, right. please sit on yeah, your chair. I'm good. Uh, I would like to be calling. Um, no, 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 no! Come back, come back, Wait. come back, come back to the platform. 
Continue on. Yo, what the fuck are you saying? Yo, listen, you're still getting arrested. Yeah, 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 yeah. Silence. Silence. Pagan. Silence. Alright. Where am I going? Okay. You're going back to the platform that you gave your statement to. Hmm. Or you can just decide to sit here. I'll be calling for uh, Mr. Robert Carlos's lawyer now. And uh, you can come up to the platform. But not. Uh, you cannot sit in it. You can come up where. Uh, Commissioner Sergeant TC is talking right now. I'll be reminding you you cannot you cannot ask any questions about uh, Mr. Sergeant Bud's um, personality or you can only ask him questions about what has happened in 26 August and about the statements that he has given. Mm, so I'm so, sure that I cannot be treating the witness as hostile. Uh, uh, you cannot you cannot uh, ask him any questions that will incriminate him. Uh, because uh, right now the case is open against the state within the invoices that he's got. If he, uh, if Ms. Defendant Mr. Robert wants to open a case towards Sergeant Buds, that will have to be dealt with the internal affairs that is in the police department, which will be added to the uh, result in this court case. But please go on, ask him anything that about what has happened in the 26th August. You're free to. Uh, Can I speak to my lawyer be, first? Uh, just about what? Just a minute. Just, uh, I want to see some questions he's going to ask. Okay, I'll give you one minute to speak with your lawyer. Thank you. And I'll be back, I'll be in my head for one minute and I'll be right back, so. Hey. This is kind of suspicious that he has to go outside to speak to his lawyer, you know what I mean? I don't know why. Yeah, no, no, it's fine. Hey, hey. Yo, I, uh, I, I went to the precinct. precinct. Yeah, you, you got a... You know, There's some, the, um... Yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. Just, you know, put the ear thingy off. No. The ear thingy? Yeah, D, you know, the D. The school. Oh! oh. Sorry, my... Yeah. My, sorry. <laughs> um, I went to the precinct, and he's still fucking doing it. There's some default Danny. Some default Danny? Yeah. I think I, I've heard of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay, I see. Well, go arrest him, you know? Well, if he's disorderly conduct or I don't know. Nah, I would rather not uh, waste my time with idiots, you know? Well, is he breaking the That's law? That's how I feel right now, bro. Not you, though, Judge. Obviously, I'll speak to you. Why are you not sitting on the uh, chair? Like, I'm pretty sure you could. Nah, yeah. but I know no, it's alright. It's, it's not available right now. This will be alright. Also, the um, I love I love I like the judge. He uh, sits in the chair, not on it. Yeah. How about you just shut the fuck up? I how mean, about silence and go back to your spot? Uh, yeah. Uh, has the has the court started? Yeah. Yeah. The court the court has started. We're giving them a minute to talk about what they want to ask on Sergeant Butts. Then it's not started yet. So. It is on action. All right. Thank you, Judge. I appreciate it. All that. right, uh, lawyer, please state your full name. My name is uh, Working Man's Lawyer John Pinkerton Esquire. Uh, so again, Mr. Esquire, is that is that good if I call you Mr. Esquire? Uh, whatever floats your boat, Mr. Judge, sir. Okay. So, Mr. Esquire, you'll be given uh, five minutes in total to question Sergeant Bods, uh, if you uh, about what has happened in the scene. Uh, it's 26 yeah, August. Okay, so, am I okay to call you Sergeant Butts? Is that your appropriate rank? Yeah, yeah, that's that's all good. I appreciate you uh, you having the respect to do so. No problem. So, Sergeant Butts, on the night of the 26th of August, let's just have a brief recap. You, I'm just going to read it. I'm not implying anything towards you. I'm just reading the facts as I understand them as a working man's lawyer. So... Yeah. On the night of the 26th of August, my client was ran over, potentially by one of you, potentially not. Is that correct? Um, there was an incident that, uh, that there was a, a colliding factor of my rear tail light and uh, the left side of uh, Mr. Carlos's head. I see. And um, let me just ask just a brief detail. 
You do know how to drive? I know how to drive, but he ran into a parked car. Very well, okay. So, does the learning to drive also account for the... Mm, bear with me. I doubt you ah, have the, a driving license. The hitting my client twice? Again, not implying anything. It might not have been you, it might have been you. Uh, but twice? Um, I believe it was just the once. Ah, right, so just the once. Uh, do you know... Do you know who might have done that? It was myself. Ah, uh, okay, I see, okay. Right. So, uh, you know, let that be noted. Yeah. Um, so, in his defence, the client accidentally, you know, he might have said some words, he might not have. I'm sure this, uh, this body cam footage will uh, point it out. Which, of course, you, you do have, being an established sergeant. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, brilliant. Fantastic. So, as the car moved away, the uh, the client may have tapped your car just to let you know that he was there, you know, being after the fact that he was once punched in the face, as admitted by yourself. Sorry, Is that sorry. The, um, the, what? So, he tapped your car, no, letting you know no. he was there. Well, so, I mean, that that would be illegal because you, you're not actually allowed to tap people's cars. Right, to let them know I that see. There. So... So, just run me so over. he's not allowed to tap your car, but the car in question is allowed to tap him. I mean, I'm sure you can tell me, Sergeant, what's bigger, a person or a car? He smashed my window, and I reversed. And I listen, he, as, 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 it... as I said earlier, he was jumping around looking for the accident to happen. He was literally right, looking for some I sort see. of insurance claim. So a window that breaks as, the cli as my client here uh, gently graces your window with his fist as it's been hit by the car. And, right. And the commissioner's uh, vehicle. What about that one then that was parked with nobody oh, in it? Well, the, the fantastic. Yeah. Mr. Robert was actually handcuffed inside. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, please be due silent. Okay, so as the night went on, the. Yeah, uh, he, he was handcuffed the in the BD vehicle after he had smashed both windows, yes. So after the windows were smashed under dubious circumstances, uh. Yeah. Did you then give chase to my client, who was, you know, obviously trying to get away from, uh, you know, um, what I, we'll I was quite busy yeah, last night, I believe. Chase. Yeah, I mean, I was quite busy last night, but I believe it. It was. It wasn't that time that he was cuffed. That that time he fled. It was the second time at the hospital that he was cuffed and then taken away. I was cuffed. Okay, absolutely. And do you have, you know, this will show in the body cam, obviously. I believe so. Brilliant, fantastic. So, as this client, as my client was chased down, uh, a, nas a taser was pointed at him. Is that correct? I believe a taser was actually deployed. Okay, and was the taser necessary, considering that my client had only so far uh, he tapped a window, which unfortunately did break under dubious circumstances? Because was the, the be because the client was acting aggressive, was running around violently, he was shouting. Um, he was actually resisting arrest and had damaged two police vehicles. Yes, the taser okay. was necessary. And then well, uh, and also, just in defence to earlier when he said I pointed a gun at him, yes, I did point a weapon at him as he was driving towards me in his vehicle. I, believe, uh, well, I believed it, he was about to take lethal action against me, so I well, raised my weapon. And the second see, time sorry. he said that I pointed a gun when he was in the truck, I sh did fire the weapon because he was driving towards me in a Please truck. let me stop you there, Sergeant. Not once so far have I indicated that you've drawn a weapon. No. Uh, you have just indicted that, that as, on yourself. As I just said, Mr. Carlos stated earlier in reply to him, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Can we turn this shit off? Right, yeah, who's, thank who's, you. Whose phone is Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll like to I'll, start what you're saying. Whose phone is that right now? I'll, I'm sorry. Uh, Alright, please do leave the courthouse. Is that courthouse. Black? Fucking Black. Jesus uh, Christ, man. Alright, uh, Sergeant Black, is it? So, please going go back. Please go back to the seats over there. So, right, continuing on, on uh, the client is now in the car, being taken back to what I assume is Los San, uh, sorry, uh, San Andreas PD. Hey, Sergeant Boats, please watch your actions. We're in a courthouse. Okay. okay. And when the client was in the car, did he say anything that might have, uh, you know, caused offence, any of that, or was he respectful as he's shown to have been so far? Uh, he has not shown to be respectful so far. He spat on my head as soon as he arrived uh, at the courthouse. Okay, and also, this body, the body cam footage will show this? Yes. Okay, perfect. So, as you arrive at PD, uh, you know, the normal 
I'm not an officer myself, so I'm only uh, assuming this. Uh, you took him inside, put him in a cell. Is that correct? No, that's that's not correct. Okay, so what happened? Uh, we went we went to go inside, and mm -hmm. as we went to go inside, um, the call came through that was shots fired in my commissioner's location. I took him outside. <laughs> I believe that his head may have imploded, exploded, so I took him back in and out. I see. Uh, I see. believe that was here. I think it might. Yeah. If not, right. uh, okay. then, then we only made it to the rear of the uh, the rear of the the PD. He did, he did not go into a cell. Fantastic! I'm so glad that we have this body cam footage. Um, so after this old kerfuffle happened, uh, your let me see, your supervisor took him to the hospital to tend to his wounds. Is that correct? That wounds is, suffered at your expense, of course. That was earlier. That, uh, okay, that, that, that was, was earlier. earlier. Please redact that from the statement. However, uh, the, this whole this whole information, uh, this whole you know situation ended with your supervisor quote saying you are free to go. That that was the first time. Okay. It, yeah, we're we're still on the first time. Can I no, can I just point out that being free to go means you are no longer detained. It does not mean that you still do not have to serve justice for and the charges did... that you have received. If, for example, he really did not believe in that then he would not be here today to then further on, after being released, come to court to then serve the charges that he he is justifiably facing. Indeed, and did you serve him his fines as you let him go? I did not serve him his fines as I let him go because I was responding to shots fired on my commissioner's position. That's why I returned to him to hand him the paperwork. But right. he, did, he did fully understand that he was under, under, he was under the Miranda rights and... He accepted that he had been charged with the, with the following offences that I told of you about. Okay, so not trying not trying to uh, put you in the limelight as any kind of guilt here. Could it have not been possible that your supervisor let him go to cover for mistakes? No, because my supervisor can't without contacting me. Or it, it, it's my arrest, so someone else can't just go ahead and do that. At the end of the day, it's my investigation. Uh, the first time. Okay, so when. You know, you've gone for you, you've gone to do your civil duty. See, which see, we all he's, literally, he's literally just said the first time because he knows that he's done it twice. Okay, so let me stop you there. Um, so after that, uh, after the supervisor quote said you are free to go, I mean, in, no longer in custody, as the officer has said. Uh, what is that noise? Okay. Um, is so is that a the sheep? from there, uh, you went to his place of work. Is that correct? Yes. And you served the fines there? Yes. Well, I tried okay. to serve the fines there, but once again, he attempted to flee, then until I reminded him that he'd be charged with that again. Uh, he then broke more offences by driving towards me in the vehicle, plus also refused... Sorry to cut you, sorry to cut you, Sergeant Bob. Yeah. Who is, who is opening this music right now in the courtroom? I think it's just Gary with the phone open behind us. Alright, Mr. Gary. I'll give you a last warning. Close your so, phone now. so let, let's recap the events so far. The uh, the client here has been hit. He's been hit with a car. He's accidentally tapped a window. He's been detained. He's been set free. And I want to stress that set free part. Um, you've tracked him down to his place of work. Do you want to just tell us what happened next? Yeah, I gave him his paperwork for the... I actually gave him paperwork for only two, two charges. But he had committed probably about six or seven prior to that, with all the reckless driving that we uh, we haven't spoken about yet either, which uh, okay. which my fellow See. colleagues have also uh, also uh, also found. I mean, if you want to say that, you know, you want to state the facts that he's been he's been knocked by a car and he's been detained. Normally, when criminals break the law and are violent in the way that he was, they get much worse doing than, doing to them than that. As I can. Uh, as I'm sure I can bring up previous trials that have happened where 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 that's been the case. So I just want to stress that in this manner he's actually got off quite lightly for someone who's been arrested for someone who's been so violent. Um, and he Great. Have, and also by driving towards me he could have actually found himself killed. So he's lucky he's still alive, like, alive right now and he's lucky he's not dead. Great. So as he's been injured he's had to take time off work, losing money from customers due to this whole. Uh, that's actually you want false because I yeah, have him on dash cam at work, actively oh, working after after the incident has taken place. I am so, so glad that we have the dash cam for these oh, situations. The dash cam is fantastic, is brilliant, isn't it? 
I love yeah. the Oscar. So when the client was taken to the hospital after the quote unquote first time he went to hospital, is that correct? Do you know of this? Um, I, 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 don't know. I don't know how many times. Oh, he was taken by, by uh, SA, uh, SP so uh, once. Are you, are you aware that there's a pandemic ongoing? SAP. Would you also agree that being in a hospital well, there's a pandemic going on in the city. Apparently, a singing pandemic. However, there's a pandemic during this in, in the city. And would you agree that the absolute, you know, worst worst place to be during a pandemic is during the hospital ward? Yeah, during a pandemic, that would be the worst place to be. But there is no pandemic in the city at the moment. And have you have you been made aware that my client may have caught said pandemic virus? Um, um, I don't know. I don't know what pandemic virus is. I haven't been briefed on it. Very well, very believe, well. I don't believe it exists. I think it's just another another farce to, to blur, blur that truth. Mm, of course, okay. And whilst... Pa, 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 pagan! Sorry, sorry. Is that a whilst... Well, well, it's not, judge, can I... Uh, can we cut this noise out? Because this is quite distracting. Where's the noise, noise? There's noise coming from the back again, man. Noise coming from the back? Yeah. Uh, if you would, Sergeant, uh, not Sergeant, Chief of TC, can you look into that, please? Uh, I would like it on the record that I thank your fellow officer for his service at the moment. Yes. My friend, uh, you're going to jail. Okay, so uh, <laughs> my client has indeed caught this virus. He, you know, he's he since got over it. However, would it not be unlikely to uh, assume that he uh, caught the virus and was wearing a mask to prevent others such as yourself from catching said virus? Well, if that was the case, why did he come towards me and push me and actually put his hands on me then? Well, according to my client, you approached him using uh, "quote unquote" malice intent. He literally he, pushed you back, he nudged you back. You're you're a big guy, officer. Surely you can take a slight nudge. No, I would, I would I'm, like to remind. I'm the same height and size as everyone remind. else. I would like to remind. Whoa. During the pandemic days, Someone's please shooting. look into that. During the pandemic days, uh, arresting and arresting walls and the system that police officers arrest or detain people hasn't changed, so if they're about to detain or arrest someone, they can get close to them. I was, Very I was well. not being detained or arrested at the time. You were, you were, being, so, you were literally being arrested for smashing so my So during windows. a pandemic, wearing a mask or not, would it not be unlikely to assume that he nudged you back for your own safety? No. Okay, do you want to just explain that reasoning? Because I'd informed him, I'm an officer, because it was clear I was an officer of the law and I informed him he's being detained. And, and, as the, he, and as the judge has just said, that there's no there's no changes to those laws. Judge, judge my ass. No. Don't let uh, speak. I'll give you a chance to talk. Wait a second. Alright, Butts. Uh, Sergeant Butts. What's so, from button? there... Oh, what is that noise? Jesus Christ. Apologies. There's tool under the table. So, from there, the... Uh, cl my client, <laughs> in clear fear for his life, uh, from this, uh, you know... What the fuck is that noise? Okay. Apologies. Oh, um, okay. Moved to Benny's, which, you know, being a mechanic, that is another point of call for his work. Uh, did so, did the sergeant here chase him to such location? No. Mm, my client says that you did. No. And you were very displeased. You were driving, quote, erratically, and when you got out of the car, you were screaming at him. So, it's okay if, if you weren't there. The so body wait, so, so, sorry, 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 sorry. Can you just confirm that your client said that the last sentence you just said? Uh, I'm not at liberty to confirm anything here. I'm okay, just so, asking so, your opinion. Yeah, no, but just bear with me. If if your client didn't hear that information, I apologise. I'm asking got it you from. the questions. No, 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 no. I understand that, but but let's just think, think. You know. Um, well, let's follow let's, due let, process. Let's just think, and you can ask me when the time arrives. No, no, no. But if it, did your client tell you that information? Because nowhere else you would have got it from. Did he? He's asking you questions, yeah. yeah. All right, silence. No, I, wait, 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 wait. So he's allowed. Uh, silence, so I can't. Please, okay. Silence, please, I, Sergeant, but well, I have understood what I've understood. It's on the records. Uh, please do continue on with another question. Uh, wait, oh, can I? Because can I, can I, I didn't actually answer that last question. Can I answer the last question? Yeah, very well. Perfect. I'd just like to point out that if I was driving erratically following him, then that says a lot. Well, but it's yeah, only it's, that. It's only that later during the same day, I believe, you arrived looking for a repair from my client. And he, obviously, fearing for his life from you, blacklisted you from his establishment. And that didn't make you happy. 
Um, I mean, I wasn't. No, it, it wasn't about me. I mean, didn't he say earlier that I left without without any saying much? I left quite quickly. I think he said that earlier, so I don't know where the unhappy came from. Um, Judge, the, the, this this lawyer seems to be, um, excuse my language, but stirring the shit quite a lot. He seems to be adding in words that didn't actually happen. Can we can we can we object to this and just throw this out the window and put this guy in jail? You can ask your last question, and we'll we'll have to move on forward. So just rounding up this uh, quite bizarre story. Uh, you were turned away, and even later that night, uh, someone was threatening to destroy my client's establishment using means of arson. Uh, and did you receive a message uh, through various means from my client asking for assistance? Um, I can't remember the exact words, but it will show it in the dash cam. But there was a threat made toward myself, and I said, well, you wouldn't like it if I said to you, that if your establishment if your establishment was on fire we won't respond. So Again, I was just simply threat. I was just simply um You know, you're a big guy, surely surely you can take a threat? I don't know, I think if we all if we all stood next to each other we'd find we're all quite a similar size and build. Well, if you look at the client, he's still suffering from his injuries from the night uh, earlier in the night where, you know, there is, his there is body dash, there unfortunately is, interacted with your car. There is dash cam footage of him last night jumping on the back of a flatbed and moving vehicles onto a flatbed and working actively, so the client is not injured. There's no oh, problem. again, I'm so glad that we have dash cam footage. So, am I, so just, I love to, it. Just, just to uh, reiterate the question, you did not go to the uh, alleged arson claim. No, no, no. It was. I mean, that that claim. There was a claim that, as I explained, he made a some sort of threat towards me, and I just said you wouldn't like it if I said that to you. Okay, so you neglected your duties in approaching what was supposed to be a very serious crime because someone said something quote quote mean. No, I said you wouldn't like it if I said that to you. I mean, that's quite a big difference from saying I won't respond. Okay, so would it be unreasonable to assume? or even question that this might be something to get back at my client. No. You know, he's in trouble, you're in trouble. Yeah, you know, if, I mean, uh, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. And then if, if first, I mean, I'll, I'll answer it anyway. I'll answer it anyway. If... Okay, if you want to answer it, you do answer Yeah, yeah, if, if I was to, to be trying to get back at him, would I not have just come back arrested him and put him in jail rather than giving him literally the lightest sentencing that I could for assaulting an LEO. I gave I was going to give him a fine for assaulting LEO. That's if if I if I had any hate towards him, I'd be putting him in prison for like as long as I could. I mean that just says it all. Okay. Again, it was just a question. It wasn't meant to insinuate anything. No, no, However, of however, that being said, we've mentioned the body cam several times. Oh, uh, uh, now Drop the microphone on the floor, sorry. Okay, so, so let me just, we've, uh, let me just, we've uh, heard the phrase body cam yeah, several it, times now. I got it back. Would you like to, sorry. Yeah, would you like to uh, present that so we can see this evidence? The the body cam footage? Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. Alright, Mr. Buzz, you'll be representing your evidence right now. So, um, it's broken. It's broken? Yeah, it's How broken. How convenient. Yeah, that's a shame. Okay. okay, so you have no evidence. So it's your word against my client. No, because your client's already been charged. This isn't, this isn't a fact of whether... This isn't, this isn't a court case against Sergeant Both. This is a yeah. court case against the invoices. The, 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 the client's already been charged. There was, there was sufficient evidence already for the client to have been charged. And okay, my, but my, 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 However, you just state that you don't have the evidence that these charges are warranted. Uh, I asked my commissioner if I could add the charges to the system, and he said yes. So the charges have already gone through. It's gone through, it's gone through the highest of a command. The charges okay. are already there. This, uh, this at the moment is him with his last, last half assed attempt to trying to get out of the charges. That's Request what it is. Permission. However, you've said uh, yourself that these charges yeah, are so, Ricardo, so low. Mr. Lord, Mr. Lord, no, 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 no. I, I did. Silence. I right, never silence. said they're low. Okay, silence. Robert, call. Okay, uh, right now we've gotten all the statements and all the requirements. We're just going in a loophole of the, the other questions regarding it. So, uh, Mr. Require, is it? Was it? The lawyer? Yeah. yeah. Uh, give me. Lawyer. Just out of character, one second. Give me one second. I need to go and get my food. Okay. 
Mr. Sergeant, Sergeant Bots, please yeah. do. You can leave the platform right now. And I'll be uh, asking Mr. Uh, Commissioner Sergeant and TC if he would like to give a statement. It's your choice because ah. you were on the scene and also involved in the actions that was taken on 26 August. It will be your choice to talk or not, but if you would like to, please come and sit on the platform. Excuse me, sir. Let's body cap. Alright, so... I'm just gonna clearly say that I support my fellow officer. Um, no, he doesn't need uh, actual dash cam footage. Is him as a witness is enough, uh, according yeah, to. Yeah, I am case. aware of that. I'm a judge. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I just answering. I'm just answering the the lawyers. So. Uh, you're not you're not being questioned right now by him. Just um, I will ask you just, several questions. Uh, Mr. Uh, Acquire can sit down, but he said that he has a reason. I'll be asking you some several questions about <coughs> what has happened. 26 August and you give me your honest answer oh, sure. on it. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. So as I understood from the case, uh, Sergeant Bodz came to the police station and then uh, you were being shot at by criminals. Is that right? What? what you were being you you you're been in a shooting. So Mr. Bodz had to come and uh, the reason that Mr. Bodz yeah, has yeah, left I, I, in the Robert yeah, Carlos. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah you're you're being in a shootout. Is that right? Yeah, so, someone, uh, went, oh shit, is that my phone? <laughs> you used to turn it off, alright. Yeah, I think it is. So, uh, I was <coughs> at the mechanic shop, Benny's, and this black chapter decided mm -hmm. to come around the corner. Yeah. And they I can, I can understand, yes. Yeah. But, they, they yeah. opened a couple of rounds. There was a, there. there was a shooting, yes or no? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so Sergeant Buds whoa, whoa, had what, to what? leave no, the police station because I of hear, the amount I of hear more uh, about the shooting. police correct. that was on the city, and you needed help. Is that alright? Yeah, that's is that... I, I called, okay. uh, I called like, uh, officer needs urgent uh, help, you know, at this point. Uh, okay. We call it 1099 as uh, being shot at. Okay, so um, also I would like to ask uh, if... I think Sergeant Buds also said it, but you were also carrying Robert, Defendant Robert Carlos, in your vehicle. Am I right, Robert Carlos? Ah, uh, yes. And uh, ha has he read your your rights and such, and why you were there in his uh, vehicle? Ah, yeah. Okay. Quite so, that's judge. Of what? We do that because we always read the the rights. Okay. But I, I, need to I mean, point no, out I can ask a question. That individual uh, broke my window while he was sitting in the back of my cruiser. So uh, and have you charged him for judge? him? That's, that's, what the that's what I charged him for. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Judge, this is, this is conflict in evidence. Okay. That's obstructing not. judge. Okay, obstructing and cancelling this question. Please go on for any further statements right now you want to give about yeah. the night and what has happened, but not about the uh, broken window thing that has happened in your car. Because clearly you have not, I mean, uh, you are not the person that has processed the uh, invoice on him. Sergeant Buzz was, Sergeant Buds was, and he also explained this already, so. Yeah, I'm just making sure you, uh, like. Yeah, I, yeah, I got, I understood. Are you questioning won't... my mind? No, sir, uh, judge. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you can go on as extra statements. Extra statements. Uh, besides that, yeah, it is correct. Um, when when I was in scene uh, before I put the individual in my vehicle, he was not come, uh, you know, uh, responding to the commanding officer uh, while he was pointing a taser at him, and I was there to confer confirm the officer uh, to tase the individual as he wasn't, uh, you know, correcting after the command the, the officer that was commanding. Okay. Uh, I would like to thank you for your statements. You can leave the platform. Right? Yeah, thank you. I would like to be called in and last, uh, Mr. Kai Andrew from the courthouse, which he is in right now, to the platform to ask him some questions about what has happened in the hospital and the expenses. <clears throat> so, if Mr. If if you're available, Mr. Kai Andrew. Uh, He's he's gone. All right. Uh, until until he gets back, I I actually have some question. 
Don't I mean, go in I'll there. I'll give you a chance to speak. Don't go in there. After, uh, okay. I'll, I'll think what to do. It. I'll, I'll try something like that. Like, uh, Whatever you do, do not open that door. Are you... Uh, He's a witness. Are you uh, Henry uh, from Robert Carlos's case? I would like to talk to you in private, not in the courthouse right now. I'll like uh, to talk to you back in the in the courtroom in a second when I'm given the decision. All right. Very. Uh, in the last, I would like to be. I'm calling the people that was really involved in the case. So right now, oh, I, I want to call uh, Kai Andrew, but I think he's not available right now. So therefore, the court will give a decision in five minutes. Sorry, I was out of my head. Okay, so, uh, Kai Mr. Andrew. Kai Andrew. Kai knows me money because of that. Okay, can you be stable somewhere? Just yeah, yeah, I, I know. I'm uh, give me a second. Okay. Yo, this court court case is taking too It'll long. We need, we need to talk about how so. this uh -huh. is probably done. This is, is not. Okay. I just want to wait till Khan goes in there. Don't take. Yeah, Khan, Khan's being Don't take. Khan, I think you need okay. to. I think you need to go and have a have a think in your office about um. Who's, whether he's guilt, whether he's uh, guilty of the charges or not. I would like to question Kai Andrew right now, and I'll and you can you be silent, please. <coughs> All right, okay. Mr. Kai Andrew, uh, is it true that you were uh, responding to Mr. Robert Carlos's hospital call when he was in the hospital in 26 August around 7 and 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, what is that again? What's up? Can you give me because I don't want to come. Okay, uh, tell me that question again. Okay, is it true that you were responding to Defendant Robert Collis's call in hospital on 26 August, Wednesday, in about 7 p.m. to 8 p.m.? Yeah. Yes. Uh, All right. So, uh, you've to the defendant has and hit and his lawyer has told me that he's caught coronavirus and he was positive on the test. Is that true? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. And also, he had mildly back pain and you had to give him some painkillers and such. Is that true? Yep, that's what true. Were the, what were the medicines that you gave him? I gave him a little bit of morphines and uh, gave him a mask to wear. So I told him just to stay 14 days at home, do not move. And yeah, and that's all. Oh, so he's broken what up. were Lockdown the expenses well. of these medicines? Um, it's uh, it's it's uh, it does help to kill the virus, you know. And uh, uh, talking about the expense, like the money, how much does the ever, how much is the morphine and the mask cost that you gave to Robert Carlos? Uh, I didn't give him anything. Just uh, because of the COVID, I'm not gonna charge him. I didn't charge him for that. Yeah, but you use the state's medicine, Free. so therefore, is there... Nothing. Uh, we'll look into it back and there, I'll call some officials from you. It's nothing. Anyways, all right. So, I would like to also ask you, uh, Mr. Robert Carlos, uh, would you like to answer this question for me? You said that you had uh, back pain, right? Since oh, the accident, and uh, you had a car door phobia or something, yes? Car door phobia, correct. Yes. So, uh, have you heard of these uh, illnesses, Mr. Kai Andrew, before? Have you dealt with it? Um, yeah, actually, um, yeah, I bring my ambulance and the first thing, and I told them to, uh, I told them to fix uh, the engine, okay. and then he told me, "Can you check my back? It's scratching." And yeah, so uh, after when he repaired my uh, my uh, my car. He and I bandage and give him a little bit of painkiller, and I warp his back. So that's all what happened. Okay. Uh, would you uh, would you say that he's got a serious serious back injury or a mild back injury within your eyes? It and was. Remember, uh... remember that you're only speaking truth when you come up to this platform. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually talking truth. That's all what happened. Um, his uh, injuries is like a little bit medium. It's it's a little bit scratchy, <laughs> and uh, Just scratch. yeah. All right. So, okay, is Mr. That... Andrew, this was all. This was all that I would like to question you for. Thank you for your statement. Um, your... Yeah, all good, man. Thank you very much, Mr. Andrew. I really appreciate it. Okay, court will be it. given. Oh, it's all good. 
court will be pausing for five minutes for myself uh, and in my room to give a decision. So in five minutes, I'll be back here giving the here decision. And since then, uh, so, yes, Robert Carlos. Uh, I only got to speak at the start. May I uh, now that everyone else has said the part? May I re uh, fix some things? I was so. No, bro. I don't. I, 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 I don't. No, I, I don't get to go again. And those statements but were, you, you, were given in truth, so I wouldn't say you have to fix anything in your statements. But but my my lawyer uh, was in his head and didn't hear what was actually said, and I uh, see some big issues that you would notice yourself if you just give me a minute to speak. No, I'll but give I don't... you a minute starting right now and right, I'll well, pause I... you whenever you right, are. Okay, that means I so go uh, uh, Sergeant Bird said that I smashed two windows before he tried to arrest me, but then his commissioner just said that I smashed his once I was in the back of the vehicle and already detained, which was down to Corona and my sneezing, <coughs> which the doctor can confirm. Um, he also uh, said that when he chased wait, me to wait, my wait. shop... He's saying that he a sneeze broke the window. Uh, I accidentally had butted the window. Yeah, okay. All right, then. Uh, the and the officer uh, officer birds told me that I was free to go. Uh, there will be uh, CCTV in the police station, but also it's quite convenient that uh, his body cam broke. But there is also dash cams in every single police car. Oh, There's up to seconds. four cameras, so That's that they should be working fine. Um, but if not, the uh, the medic was actually and my mechanic was actually a witness to Obstruct. me getting run over They've with the car. They've already spoken. Obstruct. They've already spoken. Everyone's already spoken. Mr. Come on, man. Uh, You're literally just trying uh, to blur it again. Their statements yeah, and everyone else he's, their statements. all he's doing is but, he's, but, he's, he's adding irrelevant But it's obvious that the officer. I don't know why the officer's talking, but it's obvious that the officer's lying why you're talking. because he said he hit me okay, with his that, tail light. That's enough. That's enough. All right. But everyone it. can agree it was his door. No, Thank not a single person agrees it was my uh, defendant, Mr. Rob Carlos. I'll be giving my decision back in my room. Uh, please do not disturb anything in the courthouse. If you would like to, you can uh, basically go out and take a breath. And I'll be in my room giving some decisions. Anyone that will be disturbing me will uh, have to leave the courtroom for the decision. So. What are you with that? What did you say to me? <laughs> what are you looking at? I swear to God, just just wait, bro. We, we're getting a new judge soon. <laughs> What's he doing? He hasn't said anything, bro. Oh, Yo, whoa, whoa, what the fuck is going on in here, man? What the fuck have you done, bro? Yo, guys. Yo. Uh, you, uh, you guys can unmute here. Uh, I had apologies for like this court case. We're not supposed to take this. I mean, uh, Robbie, for God's sake, yeah, the is is taking too long. Right what do you mean? That's a, a court case. Have you seen how long they're taking? No pixels. It's like three, four hours. Yeah, but like you let's can't not see the compare us with no yes. pixel. Uh, first right thing right first, a court case. Can I just take a The thing that we are doing right now is that you are going to court because of your citations, yeah? Yeah. So, first and foremost, it's kind of fail from uh, Khan to kind of tell, you know, talk down to me and all that. And it's also fail when, when people are standing up as the police, they will tell people to go back and sit down and all that. But that's just, you know, small details. But the fact is, if you're going to court for the tickets, you are only mentioning the tickets. I'm just giving uh, a backstory to how the ticket occurred. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I, I get that. But the only thing you gotta do is you need to tell. I mean, that's also Khan's uh, problem, like his fault. You 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 are to, to tell Khan your you know backstory and all that. Khan need to listen before that. Actually, Khan need to to hear the officer and he needs to read the report of the incident happened, and from that he will determine if you're guilty or not. Hearing like uh, witnesses and all that. Uh, having the lawyer explain how the officer's behavior was wrong and all that. That's not how the court how it works. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I, I've got yeah. no fucking idea on it either, so it's fine. Here, here's the thing, here's the thing. Second, as much as I want to agree, here's the thing. We've all agreed to having Khan as an actual judge and we're going to treat yeah, him yeah. as yeah. Despite how wrong things are going, right? His decision is his like, actual fucking own and we got to fucking have respect for it. However this thing goes, it's going to be like this for this particular case. No. We could use well, this what, what experience. Saying, 
I'm trying I'm to saying. explain here that I'm apologize that it's taking too long. We have multiple people in here <laughs> that's really like waiting and waiting. They want to be a part of this role play. Yeah, but I but think what I'm trying to point out is in the future this is not going to happen like this. We need to make sure that if we have an actual court quicker. case against an officer, that's different. But here we're talking about the citations. Yeah, but there was, no, there no, was no. What I'm trying to say is we can learn from this, so just take that. Yeah, okay, I'll just give a decision and everyone go back to the full house. Yeah, please do your decision because, you know, some people might want to role play something else. Uh, yeah, we yeah. might have some people joining and we will have yeah, everyone yeah, here. Hey. Alright, let's continue. All rise for the judge. <laughs> I love this <laughs> man. <laughs> I love this <laughs> man. <laughs> What the fuck? All right. All right. Whoa. What the hell? Okay, I'll just give my decision over here. Let me get on the microphone. All right, I'll be giving my decision on this court case uh, within my rights that uh, the United States government has given me. I am uh, a Supreme Court judge, uh, Caprio from San State of San Andreas. Uh, the decision on this uh, particular case will be explained kind of thoroughly so therefore defendant uh, Robert Carlos and his lawyer and uh, two gentlemen from the police station can listen to me very closely so again as a reminder this case was not opened against sergeant buds in any kind of way if if once if you guys want to open a complaint to sergeant buds you would have to go to the police station and open an IA case towards them and I, or, I did that an IA I, report. I, yes that will be dealt with in the IA report then uh, this is not our ju jurisdiction to go over uh, and give decisions for the police officers or anything. Uh, I don't have any personal opinions on uh, what has happened or uh, my. I think the decision given will be uh, fair for both sides here. Uh, it is possible that Sergeant Bud's uh, body, cam, body cam or dashboard wasn't working since we do understand that his statements as a police officer and sergeant is enough that what he has seen and witnessed because he, he is given that right from the state. Uh, I would like to also include as a as the end of this case, uh, Sergeant Bods uh, crashed you with a, accidentally crashed you with his car uh, in the scene, but it was an accident as a reminder so Heal the state me. will be paying you a total of four thousand dollars for your injuries in the back to the hospital so you can get treated well and uh, as you talk with the therapist uh, about your car phobia thing car door phobia thing uh, the therapist can give us a, a correct uh, decision and it will be talked through because you don't have a, a correct uh, description of car door phobia we won't be giving any expenses for that uh, as an addition your all of your invoices will stand and your basically at 26 August you've gotten assault on an LEO uh, and uh, you've got fleeing and evading and double times of uh, destruction of state property which is true and I would like <coughs> to say that uh, you've crashed two cars windows uh, if to be true and no matter what excuses that you have for yourself it is true that you've crashed those vehicles and you, you've caused some damage into it so therefore that will be standing and if, if an officer in, uh, in their own uh, if an officer on duty wants to speak to you uh, because you've done something wrong, you can't come up with excuses or saying like uh, that I've got corona, go away from me because it is their right to come and detain you or arrest you if you're accused of something. Uh, as in the end, fleeing and evading, you've also said to yourself that you were in the car going away uh, and a police officer was trying to stop you, uh, therefore you were actually fleeing and evading. Uh, the, what should have been done, in my opinion, is you, you should have been sent to jail. But as a lucky for you, you uh, something happened and because of the police population in the city. You haven't been sent into the jail. Uh, but all the invoices will still stand. As the, and the state, as an extra, will give you $4,000 for the expenses that you have had and uh, in the hospital about your back pain. And if you have a... a trusted therapist decision on your car for no car door for boat phobia or something you can come up to the court again and the court will give you also expense about that 
regarding its expenses. But for right now, all the invoices will stand, cases drop, everyone have a good day. Thank you, Judge. You're, you're a great man. Thank you for doing such a great job. Everyone knows it's not to a copper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone sounds a little bit, uh, a little bit hurt. Alright, bye, Mr. Carlos. See you soon. Take care. Hey, don't forget about the black It's you. <laughs> Wait, I'm black. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs>